in general, the assets only we only have two types. Okay, one is called the organic, the other one is called the inorganic. The main differences between the two is that for the organic acid, those are the acids that only contain very few type of atoms. Specifically, if you see a uh, chemical structures, okay, only contains carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Only these three atoms or elements, okay, then we call those acid as organic acid. If you contain atoms besides these three, then that is the inorganic acid. If you have other elements. One of the most commonly seen organic acid, okay, you will always, always has this functional group. C O O H. This is actually the features, okay, you will always, always see in the organic acid. When I say the C O O H, what I really mean is actually this <clears throat> C O O. H. Okay, typically you actually attach to some archaeal chain. It was represented by the R here. The key thing here is actually this part. It is the H that attach the oxygen that's going to dissociate. So if you see an organic acid, it dissociates, it becomes this R C O O minus plus H plus. So that's what happens um, in reality. Okay, it's actually COOH. That proton dissociate from the oxygen. So you're going to produce this and that. For example, if you look at these things, CHC, COOH, structural wise, it looks like this. This is actually the part that's going to become an acid. This is just a group, okay? Typically, we represent as R here. So if you see the COOH, okay, you know the part that, that's relevant is this part. The other part, just a archaeal chain that attaches to the acid. So use that concept, you should be able to see that this guy is going to have a structure like this. The C605 is actually a typical symbol for your benzene ring. So it's actually a benzene ring attached to an acid. Okay, it's that acid can dissociate the proton. The protons here is not going to give you the acid. I want to actually go back and check out the structure of this guy. Find it out. So let's actually the basic principle how you actually judge whether the formula you have is an acid or not. So the things you are looking for is actually the COOH. Regarding the inorganic acid, you have two types. One is called the hydrogen halide. And then this terminology actually explains itself, okay? Basically your chemical formula contains hydrogen and a halide atom. Okay, so everybody know the halide on your periodic table? So if you look at the periodic table, it's actually on the second right of your periodic table, right? You can see it's F, C, L, B, R, I, and A, T, right? So those are the halide column. So if you see a chemical structures contain the hydrogen halide, they are a very standard inorganic acid. In other words, if you see HCl, HBr, HI, HF, you know this has to be an acid. Another type of acid is called the oxy acid. If you see the sulfur, nitrogen, phosphine, okay, or halide, we'll just say halide. Oh, okay. This type of group appear inside your chemical structure. All right. 
then there will be so-called the oxic acid. For example, your H2SO4, you have this SO4, SO3, NO3, NO2, PO4, PO3, PO2, ClO4, ClO3, ClO2, and ClO. So those are the typical features that once you see it in your chemical structures, you know it belongs to the acid group. These are the key features, okay? When you, every time when you see a chemical structures, you can predict at least it is an acid. So one thing you're going to get or ask a lot in your homework is actually it gives you a chemical formula and actually predict this is actually a strong acid, weak acid, strong base, or weak base. So the first thing you make the judgment is actually using the things I highlight here. Okay, those are the things you need to use to judge it is an acid first. Once you know it is an acid, then you further decide it's actually strong acid or weak acid. Okay, so let's look at the basic logic flow. Talk about the base. So you can see for the base, the things that you see, there are three different types. So it can be actually metal hydroxide, or the metal oxides, or metal hydride. So it can be O, OH, OH, okay? General feature is actually if you see a metal, if you see an O, OH, OH, they are base. But if you see the first two columns, they must be the base. If it is not the first two columns, but you still have metal associated with hydroxide, oxide, and hydrides, for those things, it will be uh, actually a weak base. 